We already ready to go to 40, bro. <laughs> So apparently Tank Davis officially turns down the offer sent from Eddie Hearn and Conor Van for a fight. Yeah, that's right. Tank Davis isn't going to be fighting Conor Van. It's your boy, Mr. 926, a.k.a. Bushido the Dragon, a.k.a. Captain Karate, a.k.a. the Silver Hair Demon, a.k.a. I can do this all day, the two-time demonetized champion of the world. Smash the like button. Check it out, man. Tank Davis, bro. We've been talking about Tank quite a bit. We've been talking about Tank quite a bit. And Conor Ben finally comes out today and says he had the cat emoji. So we know what that cat means. It says, don't ever at me again at Javante. He tags. Then it says, Michael Benz reports that AD Hearn has revealed that Javante Davis has not accepted their offer for the Conor Ben fight as things stand. And so they are now in talks with Danny Garcia as well as four or five other potential opponents for Ben's next fight. End quote. Yeah, man. Um, Tank Davis didn't accept the offer, bro. 10 to 15 million. Um, I'm not sure if that was included with the pay-per-views or nothing like that. But he didn't take the fight. You know, he did all that talking on the internet. You know, he do a lot of talking on social media, man, Tank Davis. He do a lot of talking, man. This is Tank Davis we're talking about here, too. He do a lot of talking, but then when it's time to really fight somebody, he don't want to do nothing. He don't even want to fight Conor Ben, bro. If you don't want to fight Conor Ben, a uh, 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 unjuiced Conor Ben, you know, at, a, at whatever weight, I don't, you know, he he had no business really dealing with Conor Ben anyway, if I'm honest. Right? Uh, I mean, he, he's going back and forth with random people on the internet, right? He's going back and forth with random people this dude said, never forget when Henny styled on George Campo so hard, he started mumbling to himself. And then dude says, he would do at Javante the same way. He's talking to Ray Jackson. And then Tank says, I will have you like him. I will have him like you and your kids in your profile pick, Dweeb. And he's talking about this, right? Dude sleep with his kids. And that's how he'll have Devin Haney, right? But you wouldn't even, but you're not going to do that, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's that's not what you're going to do. You're going to do a lot of talking on the internet and you ain't going to do no walking. And that's that's what's about to happen. Tank Davis ain't about to do nothing, bro. How you turn down 10 to 15 million dollars? That fight would have been huge. For what it's worth, for what it was. Maybe us hardcore fans look at it a certain way. That fight would have been pretty significant. The British star, the American star. Making a fight happen. It would have It would have been big. But it just shows a lot that Tank Davis really just don't want to fight nobody. And there's no smoke for him right now. Most of his rivals now got fights lined up. Other guys like Shakur Stevenson would never get a fight, according to Coach Kenny. Um, and then you one would imagine other guys that's a little bit um, behind Shakur Stevenson. Guys like Keyshawn, Murataya. You know, those guys ain't getting no fight. Now, Frank Martin did come out and say a big announcement is coming soon. And we heard rumors that Frank Martin could be potentially the next opponent for Tank Davis. I'm not sure how true that is. Once we take off, we coming back. I don't know what he's talking about. I don't know what he's talking about. Right. But I did hear that he said that he got some big coming. Let me see if I can find it. Yeah, he said he got a big announcement coming soon. That's what some of the latest from Frank Martin. So. It'll lead fans to believe that he is next in line potentially, potentially for Tank Davis. I mean, Tank Davis though, man, he ain't. Man, he 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 he'll he'll rather get back on the internet and fight with the fans and stuff like that. Tank don't really want to fight no more. He got to the certain point now to where he's he's a star in the sport, and you know the, there's going to be certain things asked of him, and will he deliver these things that's asked? No, nah, I don't think so. You saw what happened with the Ryan fight. We barely got that. Ryan had to jump through all kinds of flaming hoops to get that fight, bro. Ryan had to do a lot to get that fight, bro. You had fans co-signing. Yeah, well, you. Yeah, because we dealing with a lot of pussies today. We got a lot of pussies out here, bro. If you want those guys, 
I don't I don't really care how you feel about it, bro. Because over here on this on this side of the internet, we keep it one thousand, bro, and we ain't we ain't for that pussy shit, bro. You put all kinds of stipulations on this dude. I can't even give you. I want to give you credit for that fight, bro. I really want to get ten credit because I thought that was a good fight. Um, but he put a handicap on the kid. I'm like, nah, man, I, I can't give you real credit for that. I can't. I just can't. He didn't. And really, what it is too. Connor and Ben and them probably wasn't going for the bullshit, bro. They probably wasn't. They probably wasn't going for the little catch weights and the stipulations and rehydrates. They wasn't with the program, so they said, "Nah, man, we'll just move on from that. We'll just go back and fight Frank or somebody." But it's not necessarily a fight that fans was asking for either. So, you know, it's not. It's not one of the things. I'm just looking at Tank Davis though, because he he does this. He ain't got no fight. He could have fought Devin. He could he could fight whoever he wants. He's Tank Davis. There's no excuses for him. Oh, he's not a big name. Oh, he didn't do nothing. I, I've seen many guys who fought that wasn't a name and then didn't do nothing. So you can't use none of those excuses. You the cash cow. You the draw. You the face of pox. Okay, well, then people come to see you. It don't matter who you fight, right? That's the position you get put in when you the face of the box and the cash cow. Guys like Canelo and Tank. This is the position you get put in. You can't you can't use no excuse. You're exempt from using excuses. You can't say, oh well, he done not a draw. He ain't done nothing. You can't say none of that. If the people want to see it, they want to see it. But now who do people want to see Tank fight? Who do we want to see Tank fight, bro? I mean, Connor Ben would have been cool for what it was. Especially if he wasn't on rehydrations and shit. I want to see a straight up fight. I think that I think Tank still beat the dude. Because Connor Ben is really not that good. Especially without the special, um, the special eggs he had. He's just, he's just lackluster, bro. Just then, right? Oh, and look, this just then Tank Davis reacts, right? As me making this video, he reacts to, of course, the fans. He didn't react to Connor Ben. Let's see. I'm gonna go see if he reacts to everybody else. But right now, five as of five minutes ago, of me doing this video right now, he reacted to some fucking fans. He's not reacting to. He's not reacting to nothing. He he says this five minutes ago of me making this video right now. He says, none of y'all know what the F y'all talking about, but Queens of Boxing posted something. Shut the fuck up. It's always he say, she say, not facts, bitch. Who are you talking about? And then he says, you need to shut the F up. He talked to these same guys again. I don't know who Tank is talking about. Who is he talking about, bro? Queens of Boxing. He must have said something. Right? They must have said something. Queens of boxing talk. Salute to those ladies. Let me see, man. Let me see, dude. Tank Davis, bro. He on the internet fighting, though. I'll tell you that. He, he's an internet fighter. I'll tell you that. He be on the internet fighting. He be on the internet fighting with fans and shit. Okay, he said, none of y'all know what y'all talking about. But yeah, man. Tank Davis, bro. I guess something was said on Queens of boxing. Let's see. Uh, what these dudes say? Okay, look, he says, I just want Tank Stans to call him a liar. He publicly asked for some shit, received it, and then, then did the opposite. Told this man to his word like everyone else. Tired of, oh, man, he playing. Yeah, he calling Tank feet to the fire and Tank attack, dude. Yeah, he, he attacked TD uh, Boxing right here. Texas Boxing. I believe that's Texas or something. Yeah, they're coming for Tank. For whatever reason, let's see what does this guy said. Can't even speculate. Oh, damn. Let's see, see Tank, see, Tank, dude, probably said, I can't even speculate what's going on. Wait a minute. What the hell happened now? Maybe it's about this fight, you guys. Frank got to be. Yeah, I'm thinking it's Frank, too. If it's not Ben, which kind of was fake, who is it? Tank Davis just don't want to do nothing, bro. So Tank Davis really just getting mad because people talking about this shit right here. You ducking, Tank. You ducking, dog. You officially ducked Connor Ben. And it, and it wouldn't even be a situation that you ducked him if you never really called him out. If you was never on social media looking your chops, acting like you was about to give the fans a fight. But guess what? You weren't going to give the fans no fight. Because you know Eddie Hearn and them was for real. You know Eddie Hearn and them going to put that money in front of you. You know um, if all fails, Turkey Alashiki. Would have came to the crib with them Ferraris. 
You didn't want none of that. Tank Davis ain't about to be fighting nobody anytime soon. Like, subscribe, Hodge boy. Peace out.